operatives of the Western Marine Command Lagos have intercepted 29,660 parcels of cannabis sativa weighing 16.7 kilograms, worth 2 billion and 61 million on Lagos waterways. Decrying the harmful effect of the little drugs, the Customs Area Controller, Controller Abubakar Umar, said his command will continue to thwart the efforts of smugglers on the waterways. Drugs are principal drivers of crimes. No heinous crime can be committed without the influence of drugs. The kidnapping, the Boko Haram, all other vices are induced by drugs. So we have taken off the market 28,560 loads of cannabis sativa. The seized illicit drugs were, however, handed over to the representative of the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency, NDLA, Mr. Isaac Elijah. I want to assure you that everything will be done to make sure that uh, all the perpetrators of uh, drug crime in Nigeria, including this particular one, are brought to book. Uh, first and foremost, we are going to initiate the process of uh, uh, making sure that uh, they are seized and uh, they are destroyed and the assets of the people behind them are traced and confiscated. Additional seizures are 1,577 bags of foreign parboiled rice equivalent to more than two trailer load. Seven wooden boats with four engines as means of conveyance, two sacks of suspected gunpowder, all with a duty paid value of over 2.2 billion naira. Our borders on our waterways will have intensified patrols day in, day out. We have increased the number of boats and the number of foot soldiers, that is officers, on patrols at the creeks on our borders. We as a service we will continue to do the best we can by making seizures and, of course, prosecuting the smugglers as much as we can. Why thanking the Controller General of Customs, Colonel Amit Ali, retired and his management team for their continuous support, he appreciated the cooperation of host communities and the bravery of his operatives. Cynthia Idu, NCBN News, Lagos.